So joining me in our session titled Dynamics 365 Business Central Licensing and Pricing Answers is Tracy Santos, who is our Customer Experience Manager. So thank you for joining us today and I'll pass it over to you. Fantastic, thanks Tess. Um, as I stated earlier today, I'm thrilled to be here uh, presenting to you and uh, I wish I could see all of you at the same time, um, but I hope that everyone's well and I really appreciate you uh, joining us today and this session is all about um, addressing any licensing questions that you might have about making that transition. So today we're going to go over uh, licensing, so the options, deployment, your key takeaways, uh, pricing, and ongoing benefits. Um, we've got about 20 minutes uh, to sit together, or 25 minutes, and I hope I can keep to that time because I know the next session is going to be super exciting. We're going to be looking at that power platform and I know you guys are anxious to, to learn more about that. Um, and I'm on video right now, but if Tess feels that um, the quality isn't good enough, we'll turn that off so that doesn't distract you. Great. So let's talk about this business central licensing. So again, you have subscription licensing options. So again, that's uh, business Central Essentials, a full user. So full users are the users who work, requires the use of their feature-rich business application functionality. Examples of full users are salespeople, customer service representatives, finance employees, controllers, and supply chain managers. Um, the users have also been referred to in the past as professional users or uh, full use users. Um, and uh, these full users are licensed with a Business Central subscription. And so we have um, Essentials and Premium, and they're both full use users. And they're additional users, so they often represent a significant percentage of users in an organization uh, and may consume data reports from line of business systems, um, complete light tasks like time or expense entry, um, HR record updates, or, uh, or be heavier users of the system but not require full user capability. So these additional users are licensed with team members. So you must license at least one business, ascent, business central essentials or business central premium. Um, so again, of course, that's kind of logical. You have to have at least one license. We'll go on to the next slide. So again, that, the licensing options, um, you might require uh, essentials or you might require premium. So again, essentials would be uh, covering all your financial management, supply chain management, um, project management, warehouse management. And then if you were going to choose a premium license, it would be everything essentials, so you get all of that. Um, plus you get service management and manufacturing. So again, if you're a manufacturing uh, company, then you would go for a premium license. And then we talked about teams, so a team license, what that is and what you can do. So again, kind of like the light user um, that you had before in Dynamics GP. Um, and we also had uh, employee self-service users as well. So something like that, so for teams. And again, they're named users. We kind of talked about that in the last session, um, that, that they are named. And you can't mix them. So you're either going to be an essential license consumer or a premium license consumer. So again, you can't mix them together. They're either one or the other. And you can move them from one to the other. So for example, if you were, um, you did have essentials and you decided that, yeah, we wanna start putting our um, uh, process or uh, process manufacturing on, then uh, we can go and add those. So let's have a little look at uh, what you get for a business central essentials license. So again, much like you had in Dynamics GP on that functionality, um, and definitely in some areas, it goes a little bit deeper. So again, we talked about the benefits of that dimensional accounting rather than a segmented chart of accounts. Um, but again, you get all of that um, availability, that functionality is there for you. So we'll go through on the next slide as well. So kind of going through the finance side and now into project management and supply chain management, warehouse management, and then there are um, some of the system uh, functionality there. So again, you get all of that functionality out of the box. And we were going to have um, Business Central Premium. Again, we've got that service order management and then manufacturing. 
So again, in the past sometimes with clients that were on Dynamics GP because the, the core manufacturing on GP is finite, not process. And so again, that was very attractive to people to, that had process manufacturing um, and using Business Central. And that's what you get with premium. So again, uh, the basic central functionality, we've got teams, again, talking about teams, some of the things that they can do, um, uh, that existing data and entries in Business Central. So certain things you can write to, um, uh, but you can read everything within Business Central with a team license. Um, so some of the things that you can do, for example, um, approve or reject tasks in the workflow, uh, create, edit, and delete a quote, create, edit, delete personal information, um, enter timesheet for jobs, and use the Power Apps or Power Automate use rights with the Dynamics 365 license. So those are some of the things that uh, a team license allows you to do. So it's not just reading capability, but sometimes that we have a lot of people within the organization that just need that read ability. And so we can get that they have them, uh, they can leverage that team license functionality. All right, so deployment. So again, you can take advantage of the latest cloud powered capabilities, including deep integration with Office 365 and Power Platform to ensure optimal business efficiency and employee empowerment. So improving IT productivity by reducing complexity associated with managing hardware, software, and providing support. So again, that, that it is software as a service. So when we think about um, that deployment, it's up in Microsoft Azure. Again, you're always current on the latest technology. Again, reducing those costs and freeing up resources. And so important, especially today, is that improved security, privacy, and reliability. So again, you're gaining that peace of mind knowing your sense of business data is stored in a highly secured state-of-the-art data center um, managed by Microsoft. And again, this is important as your data will be there when you need it, thanks to a 99.9% .9 uptime SLA. Um, and again, everything's online. So again, everything's included in one fee. So the software, the cloud hosting and management services. So again, it's not separate components. That's one price for all of that. Which I just said there, I knew that was coming up. So again, with that license, you get one production environment and three sandbox environments at no extra charge. It includes 80 gigabytes of data storage capacity across the environments. Um, again, if you need additional, that is available to you as well. But again, you do have those multiple environments to be able to um, take advantage of. So let's talk about the pricing. So again, um, there's a list price. And then of course, because you are a valued client, um, and you're current on your annual maintenance, you actually get a 40% discount and that goes on in perpetuity. So again, that it continues on forever. Um, so again, they're, uh, they're, they are named users, not concurrent. So that's definitely a change from a Dynamics GP perspective. If you were on your perpetual licensing, you were used to concurrent. And so this is named, um, again, you, and you, you do get that discount. So let's have a look at when we look at these different components and how we build that out. So this is a, an Excel spreadsheet that's available to you. And so great. Some of the things in here, um, you can put in your data. Um, one area that uh, I encourage you to add in here is there's a lot of things that aren't noted in here that are um, what we would term soft costs or they are costs um, that are gonna go away. So again, we we're putting in, um, you know, in your current situation, uh, what happens with, you know, you had to have that square footage to house that infrastructure and it consumed energy. And um, there are lots of things that not necessarily are on uh, this tool that I encourage you to add in as part of that cost savings. And so that you can monitor that and say, okay, great. What is the benefit over time? Um, this is just an example of one you're going to uh, work with us um, or on your own, or we can guide you through this of, uh, how would I put these different variables in and how many licenses do I think I need going forward? Obviously a big cost that goes away um, or one of the costs is that um, updating or upgrades, um, applying service packs, et cetera, all of that. So 
when we look at that, again, there's a soft cost of, you know, if I am, I'm not productive during that time, um, what, what, what do I equate that to over time? Um, so again, it's all of those and those human resources that are involved in, in doing all of that, um, ordering a server, preparing the server, um, taking care of that and doing that update. And, um, you know, what if there's downtime with the, you know, from a security perspective or a disaster recovery perspective, um, all of those costs, again, you're, you're shifting that risk from one place to shifting it somewhere else and not having to worry about it. And, and basically having that, that world-class state-of-the-art team uh, supporting your business. Um, and that's all incorporated in that um, per user per month fee. Um, you're getting all of that benefit. So again, we're, we've been talking about these themes the last couple of days. Um, again, you're always on the current technology. Um, it's, it's peace of mind. It's knowing your sense of business data is stored in the highly secure state-of-the-art data center, um, and, it, and it's always available to you. Um, you know, never having to upgrade patch or back up your ERP solution, never having to purchase new infrastructure. Um, you don't have to manage that infrastructure, upgrade or patch that. So again, lots and lots of great benefits um, from that perspective. Um, from that licensing, and that's all wrapped up in that 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 cost that's going to be there for you, and and it's just there's there's countless countless benefits. So I couldn't put them all couldn't put them all in here. I know we've got lots of great information um, available to you. But I think that's all I've got. I'm going to go to my Q and A. Uh, that went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go, but. Um, Again, that the licensing, yes, it is a it's a, it's a transition, um, and you're going to again move over to software as a service. Um, again, interesting things when you, and I shouldn't have gone to this slide, but we'll back up for a second. If you were starting your business today, you know, when someone said, "Great, you can go and do all of this," so you got these all these capital costs. Um, go and build that air conditioned server room and go and buy all that hardware and all of those things as opposed to great um you're starting your business awesome we'll get you up and running in no time here it's all in the cloud you don't have to worry about anything let's just get you going so again if you looked at you were starting over again what would you what would you choose you know um how would you move forward uh from a business perspective and so this is the ability to have to get all those gains um, and, and remove a lot of that that cost and that overhead. So again, yeah, really, that's another way of looking at it is no more capital expenditures. It's operational expense and uh, there's cost certainty and it's smoothed out over time and you know exactly what's going to happen. So yeah, all right. Well, uh, Tess, I guess we'll open it up for Q and A. That's awesome. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, we've had a few questions come in, but if you do have any questions for Tracy please submit them in the control panel. Uh, so the first one we have is, we are a GP company using management reporting. We send out monthly budgets to directors. Do we still have this ability or do our directors now need team licenses? That's a great question. Um, absolutely, so in management reporter, uh, you would have sent them out, you know, maybe sent them out by email or maybe you put them up in a, a shared drive. Um, but you could do the same with uh, using Business Central. So, for example, if we were going to do use the account schedules, uh, we could then go and uh, generate those reports and put them in a shared place for them to access or email them out. Um, or if you're going to use, uh, for example, if you're going to use Jet Reports, the same thing, you can share out that information. They would not uh, require a team license. So if I'm generating something and then just sending it to them like I was before, um, that's fine. And definitely you can if you can do that for sure Thank but if you, you go on and do their own work then yes you could get them a team license okay um is there a not-for-profit pricing for essentials licensing yes there is um but i don't know i think it's to check and see whether you can double dip like whether you could get the not-for-profit pricing and get the discount um so i have to i'll have to look into that for you that sounds good. Uh, do we have to use Azure because since Business Central is cloud-based? 
Yeah, so it is Azure. It just it it is um, on the Microsoft Azure platform. Um, but if you're saying you wanted to use Business Central in a like a different hosting option, or uh, maybe we can chat about that a little bit more. But it, it definitely is deployed in Azure. Um, but we could I could take that offline and have a conversation with you to see where would you like to put it. Sounds good. What are the options to purchase extra data? Yeah, it's it's completely up to you. There's uh, different offerings. So again, if you, you think you're gonna need more, um, I know that uh, about four months ago, four or five months ago, they increased that to that, that uh, data size. Um, but if you need more, I can share with you the pricing for that and what it is. Sounds good. Uh, do you have a data center in Canada? Yes. There's actually two, uh, one in Quebec and one in Ontario. Perfect. Uh, currently with GP, we pay for technical support. How will this be factored in the pricing for Business Central? Great, so uh, if you're talking about um, support from Encore, um, yes, that would be available to you in Business Central. Um, if it's, through your annual maintenance. So again, your annual maintenance in GP, there's different kind of offerings or packages that you could pay for to get support. Um, they don't offer that, Microsoft doesn't offer that. They have all of their support done through the partner channel. Um, but we can certainly discuss what that looks like. I'm not sure which plan you're on right now, but I'd, I'd, be, I'd be happy to have that conversation with you. Thanks, Tracy. Um, do we have to pay Azure an Azure fee as well if we choose to deploy on it? No, that, that's just one fee. Sounds good. Um, if we hire a new employee, is it easy to add an additional license for them in Business Central? Yes, absolutely. So typically what would happen is you'd say, great, Tracy's starting on Monday. I need to get her uh, a license. You send us an email and very shortly afterwards, it's just available to you. That sounds good. So thank you everyone for submitting those questions. Uh, I don't see any others coming in. So thank you again for attending this session and thank you for Tracy for presenting. Uh, her contact information is on the slide, so please feel free to reach out to her or your account manager if you have any, any questions from today's session. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much, Tess, and thank you everyone, and have a great day. Thank you.